He's going to the main. That's a smart idea because main was not defended. Two bears. I believe there's no dryers that are going to be out for moon. Moon's going to think about doing some apology magic or maybe slow poison against the against the Naga Sea Witch just to get a, to get her killed a second time. And and like I said, undead is is no undead is stayed at tier two. I think that's a mistake. He needs to get tier three, get some destroyers out, but uh, he, they're going to be countered by the dryads because by the time the destroyers are on the field, the dryads, dryads are going to be all over the freaking, all over the freaking field. Now he's going to do a pseudo tier tier two tower rush against the freaking night elf. Counting on the night elves, not having much units, he's going to have to cancel his rounds and throw down another one. Uh, and uh, the fiends versus dry is never a good trade, but it uh, looks like the panda is going to try to do some breath of fire against the fiends, uh, against the ghouls. And the fiends are going to uh, focus down the dark ranger, of course, slow poison. I'm sorry, um, code arrow is going to slow down the dark ranger damage per second. Uh, both ziggurats gets cancelled. Uh, I think he's going to get another one. If not, I was able to do some detonating, he could get a, get a, get rid of his blight on in his out of, uh, at the, outside his base to stop any uh, potential future ziggurats. But he he, but Moon decided to save his uh, wisp spot on lumber. He's gonna confident. He's gonna be confident to defend against this, and uh, the towers are gonna be allowed to put up. So the ghouls have to be dealt with. I don't think the panda is gonna have any mana left. Panda can have to buy some items out of the, out of the freaking shop just to stay alive. Looks like a staff is gonna be used by Moon. Moon's going to have his panda in the back of the night undead army. That can be bad for the undead. Undead is going to turn around to face the panda straight on, so he can he don't have to be outflanked. And the towers getting finished here. Uh, Momo is being planted, and I think Moon is anticipa anticipating losing some buildings. Panda is going to have to chuck the potion of healing, and Panda is going to uh, have no, almost nothing left. Towers are going to be up here in the next uh, 15 seconds if the uh, Undead decides to upgrade him. Uh, <laughs> and why is Undead not upgrading him? Uh, there is a f new ring tower, and Undead has enough army or enough money for. Uh, uh, for a spirit tower, but he's not getting one for some reason. Level two is not a sea witch, so I'm gonna see some coil and uh, lightning action on the on the um, maybe potential bears or mercs are being hired by Moon. Moon grabbed every single uh, nope. Moon just grabbed an ogre mauler out of out of the merc camp, and he's I think those mercs are trying to counter the fiends. And when Nubian Tower is gonna finish, Nubian Tower upgrades extremely fast, and there and uh, he undead is gonna spend his money on something. I think he's spending. it no, he didn't get tier two. What the hell did he do? Oh, he got another statue, and uh, there's an incoming freaking <laughs> meat wagon. So that is going to take down the altar. I think Moon's going to rebuild his altar at the expansion already. The Mo One fiend gets killed. That's critical because fiends are the backbone of the undead army right now. And uh, three fiends left. One, another fiend is going to get focused down. I think that's going to get killed here. Uh, th two fiends down, uh, but the panda is kind of trouble. Panda is going to be slow about the Nerubian tower. Panda has to be staffed. Uh, where's the Dark Ranger when you need her? Uh, no Panda is going to be spared because uh, I don't know why though. Panda is going to chuck a potion of healing out of the shop now. Panda is going to be killed. No staff or, or potion of healing from the from the freaking Dark Ranger or anything. Dark Ranger is going to be freaking... Oh, Dark Ranger is going to be low. Dark Ranger is going to chuck a potion chuck something. Dark Ranger has to do something here. I think he's going to defend... What the hell did Dark Ranger... What happened to the Dark Ranger? I have no idea. But the tower is going to be up Moon's uh, main here. Moon's going to have face a lot of freaking pressure against the meat wagon. He's in danger of losing these lores. Uh, I don't. I don't think you can actually go after that freaking hunter's hall because it's like two thousand HP or something. One fifteen hundred HP, and it's pointless to have to go after the hunter's hall because Moon's not getting any upgrades. And uh, um, DK gets level three, but uh, he's going to have to cancel Ziggurat. You know, the mercs are going to have to drive the undead army back. The, Still no tier three from Undead. So Undead is going to stay at tier two against this tower rush. A lot of the low HP Dryad is going to be focused down here, and Acolytes is going to be taken down. So no more towers from the Undead here. But the Undead do have the Blight, so he's going to have some additional hit points regen. More Dryads went down, and it looks like Naga Sea Witch is going to uh, be focused down by Moon. Moon is going to do a silence down on Naga Sea Witch for some reason, just to slow down the Naga Sea Witch damage, perhaps. Oh no, he sounds uh, he sounds the DK as well. The DK is gonna chase down Dark Ranger. Dark Ranger is going to be spared. I think he uh, DK oh DK should have won after the Dark Ranger right there. He could have killed killed it and just to sacri spare sacrifice a fiend here. Four four o'clock name is gonna get a creep and and archer. So Moon's completely hosed, his main's completely breached. But he's has two lords pumping and two two mining bases. Another meat wagon is being queued up. So Moon's got to deal with these meat wagons here soon enough because the meat wagons have regeneration in the 
uh, have in the blight and of course on holy war right, as the regeneration rate of the meat wagons. So meat wagons needs to focus down this sheep ages instead of this freaking hunter, hunter's hall. I don't know why he's not. Okay, whatever. Now, more Akla is being brought over. Okay, as now what? Okay, Elfie is gonna have four acolytes on gold. He's oh, okay. He's gonna get make one out of the main. So he's gonna be completely committed to this. He has enough money for one z ziggurat right now to uh, f to being thrown it down here. And another me wagon is being thrown through three me wagons. And Moon is gonna sacrifice his main. Looks like he's gonna go maybe do a counter attack or even uh, I don't know what Moon's gonna do at this point because Dark Ranger is relatively weak. At level three, at level four, or even uh, I don't care what, how many, how high level Dark Rangers get. They, they, she's she's a weak hero, just like a you know, Fire Lord. Uh, her main, her uh, ob, ob, uh, ob, uh, her objective in any game just to summon summon units, just like a Fire Lord would. And Moe is going to lose his main here. He's going to lose his one gold mine, so he's going to mine on one gold mine now. Of course, eight o'clock was crept, so Undead could have expanded there um, after gaining map control with these meat wagons and fiends. And Mo is going to show out. Maybe he's going to think about uh, ca uh, capturing any incoming army, incoming reinforcement from the Undead. Undead is going to see about see that, and he's going to not kill anything to his uh, to his uh, army here. And I think Undead has this game pretty. Um, uh, he has a significant advantage in this, in this game. Let's see if Moon's gonna fight his way back from this. Although, <laughs> never count any player out because this 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 replay made it to my um, uh, <laughs> one year anniversary video. So you gotta suspect some something's up. Maybe Moon's gonna pull out a last second win, or the Undead is gonna do pull it really close. <laughs> He's gonna win by like a uh, by a hair or something. Something's gonna go on. Uh, looks like Moon's gonna re uh, get re regain his tech and uh, and uh, Moonwells at the at four o'clock, and uh, Moon's gonna try to do a mini contain. No, Moon's gonna creep, and Andre is gonna have his base for his own. Maybe he's gonna he could expand here after having these two towers. A sacrificial pit being thrown down, so he's gonna get some shades to fall around Moon. This fiend needs to be microed out out of this freaking undead base because he's not doing anything. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, it looks like the uh, Undead is going to slow down that damage man, while Moon's getting a level 2 panda right there after the creeps and he's going to get a bunch of skeletons after the weak creeps as well and DK is going to get focused down by the Dryas and the, and the Mock Golem um, yeah I don't think Moon wants to fight the Undead in the Blight and the Towers that's one thing you do not want to do uh, never fight Undead when he when they have Towers in the Blight that's, that is not good news um, and that is true to throw down a gold mine here. I don't think he has enough lumber for it. He has three ghouls on lumber, so he should enough have enough uh, wood for it. A ghoul is going to be queued up to expand uh, to scout the eight o'clock, and I don't think the ghoul is going to be envisioned to see this thing, to see this tree of lives being planted close to the eight o'clock. I don't think. Uh, yeah, Gu is gonna hop over the eight o'clock. He's not gonna see this tree here, and oh no, the creeps are still here. So Undead knows that Moon's not expanding here. Uh, so uh, I think it would be better off throwing a shade over there. Um, Moon's gonna creep the eight o'clock now. That shade is gonna follow him. So Undead knows that where a Moon is. Um, I don't think the shade saw the eight o'clock creeps yet. Um, eight o'clock expansion until the Moon's gonna reveal it to him. I don't know if Noah is gonna Moon's gonna know there's a there's a shade around him um, or anything. Maybe he's gonna buy a dust or something. Uh, the shade is still around, so Moon don't, hasn't suspected anything. You know, two lords being thrown down. It looks like Moon's gonna TP back, try to save his main, to kill the meat wagons first. And meat wagons are gonna target down the main here. Um, I don't think the main's gonna be taken down. Wisp is trying to mass repair. Coil is gonna kill the wisp. Silence on the uh, Naga Sewage, so Naga Sewage won't do any fork lightning against your wisps. There's a fork lining. <laughs> Just to do a, uh, instead of two fork lightnings, she's gonna do one. That's a, that's the logic.